I am Zachariah Collette, a Staff Sergeant in the United States Army, from, originally from the great state of Ohio. I didn't know what I wanted to be, uh, what 18 or 17 year old kid knows what they want to be. Um, and I have very rich heritage in the military and my family. So I felt that um, I would go do a few years in the military and uh, see if I could figure out what I want to do with my life. And here I am 10 years later. My injury is a, uh, a, a crush injury to my lower back. Uh, I was on a raid in November of 2005. I kicked down a door. The door led down to a flight of stairs. So when I jumped, I jumped instead of falling because we were taking fire from the perimeter. So I wasn't exactly sure what we were getting into. So uh, when I landed, I landed on my heels. Uh, so the impact plus, you know, the weight of my gear uh, all compacted in my lower back and I guess the doctor always says uh, to picture a, a jelly donut being smashed and that's kind of what happened to my three discs in my lower back. Uh, aside from that it was about 10 to 15 different IED attacks. Uh, obviously it developed a traumatic brain injury and uh, was medically retired with severe PTSD. My greatest struggle was self-identity. Um, when you lose your mobility, uh, when you are at the top of your game as a soldier, uh, as a leader, uh, you lose a lot of your identity. I feel like uh, you feel like less of a person, less of a soldier, less of a leader. It's hard to cope with that um, and it's especially hard when doctors over medicate these days. Um, and then you kind of accept that and keep trying to, to pull more because you think that's helping. Uh, so the hardest part was re-identifying with myself and getting over uh, the mental dependence on painkillers. I came down here with the Wounded Warrior Project. They have helped me with uh, getting out, getting, I was right at the last step. Um, I had retired. Uh, was trying to find where I was going to go in life um, and didn't know anything about resume writing, nothing. Uh, and they have the Warriors to Work program. Um, they helped me write my resume, put my resume out there. Uh, and I didn't really have too many skills. I mean, what soldier does, it, it applies to the, the business world. Uh, a company, Soterra, up in DC called me, offered me a job, and I uh, immediately accepted because it was, it was eight months that I'd been searching for a job, and it was, it was you know, all, the only chance I really had. And with them and the help of U-Haul, which is their partner, um, they paid for my move, paid for everything for me to move, everything from my house from North Carolina to D.C. And uh, here I am a year and a half later and uh, much, much happier. Um, it's, it's extremely important. I, I had this conversation with a gentleman on the plane. Uh, if you look at what has happened to our Vietnam World War II veterans uh, and the other conflicts we've had, they've kind of fallen by the wayside, unfortunately. There are some gentlemen at our, at our welcoming in that were from Iwo Jima and whatnot. And, you know, you wish that they had the opportunities that we have today, uh, especially when it comes to mental health. Um, obviously, the, the progress, progression of medicine is, is to be accepted. It's, it's what it is. It's going to progress. But uh, for somebody to be there when you're struggling uh, and for people to be on the other side that understand, like Dan Nevins, double amputee, he understands. He can talk. He's there for you any time of the day. I text him uh, like he's my buddy because he is. And, um, Anything you need, it, those they are there for you, all the way up to Steve Muscoda, the CEO. They're there for you no matter what, uh, whenever, whatever you need. And that's how I am. That's how I'm here today. I'm most looking forward to seeing my fellow wounded warriors. Uh, they get this look on their face when they're when they're accomplishing something, or they. It's just something about riding a bike that it kind of, like, uh, it, it 
makes you one with nature or if you're on the road it's like riding a Harley I, it, so that's why I, I ride bikes now because it's not safe to ride a, it's not very safe to ride motorcycles and um, it just when you see these guys some of them double amputees some of them you know missing missing some kind of limb something that have severely damaged and the they're out there just whipping my butt you know and they've got this smile on their face uh, and it's just it's all about really fine the inspiration that they provide and and seeing what the other people that are here to support us get out of that as well um, to see the look on their faces when they see us doing something that we love. Uh, it's just an all-around inspiring moment anytime that, that we get these opportunities. I started riding uh, last year when we did the uh, soldier ride uh, in DC. That was my, that was my, that's what kicked it off and then I did Ironman Cosimo in November. I've never, I'd never done a triathlon, nothing before. I just started at the top. You know, you don't know what you're getting into, so you might as well to go in head first. I ride every other day. It's just, it's just normal routine. It's just something I, I've come to enjoy. And living in a bigger city like DC, it's, it's very nice to get just out on the trail and be to yourself. It's very comforting.